How's it going, good people? This video, I wanted to share with you how I went about setting up X Lights, WLED, and Falcon Pie Player. I got to looking at the how could I possibly do this because I run a AC lights only show, and I figure okay, X Lights can control outputs. Is it possible that X? I mean, excuse me, WLED can control outputs to pixels. I wonder if it can control output to a relay board. I did some researching and eventually ran across this post as well as another post and they basically said yeah i was able to get it to do it and so it's like okay but nobody created a video they just kind of outlined the steps of how they went about doing it uh, this video is to basically explain how i went about doing it so that if somebody is looking for this in the future they kind of have a visual that they can utilize my name is Kenny. This is Tech Talk with RHT Services, and let's go ahead and get started. Now, in the bottom right, I have my eight-channel solid-state relay board, and it's connected to an ESP32. Now, you can do the same setup with a ESP8266, like this particular poster here has done with his. However, I have ESP32s just because. All right, so the next step, go over to X Lights. And uh, you'll want to set up, if you want to do RGB lights, you can. If you want to do AC only lights, you can also do those as well. Um, but this video, I'm going to show you how to do the RGB. Uh, so what I did was I set up my spotlights in a group and I actually have two sets of spotlights here that are AC lights. They're basically uh, individually individual floodlights that are a different color and they function together as a group. All right, so once you have that set up in your sequence and you sequence it how you need to, uh, you'll come over here, and so what I have in the X Lights models set up. So my spotlight here is set up as a super string, and I have it set up as a window outline. However, this could be a tree, this could be a circle, it could be anything, but I have it set up as a super string, and I have it four colors. It really should be three, and I think I'm actually changing this after this video. Um, I had some issues with getting the white to work, and so I had to re update all my sequences to not have white because for some reason white does not turn on all of the three colors red blue green but instead it just turns everything off um so i'm gonna have to figure that portion out um but that's the main thing here now if you come over to controllers you'll need to add your wled instance as a, another controller and so that's what i've done here i've uh so you set the vendor as wled the model is wled and my particular implementation is an esp32 so you'll select that from the output uh, give it a universe ID, which is three, although it doesn't, to my understanding, matter what the universe is with DDP, but I could be wrong on that. The auto layout and the auto size are checked, and you also want to set this output to be active. Then you enter in the IP address of your WLED instance. Set the protocol, the DDP, and then you want to uncheck the keep channel numbers box. All right, so then once you do that, you'll want to go to visualize down here and the lights that you want to control will need to be dragged from over here to the port mapping so as you see i have my spotlights already mapped out and it has four channels red blue green white and those are tied to pixel port one now it says there's two pixels but in fact there's actually four connections there not sure why but it does work even though the numbers seem to be off all right so once you do that visualization you'll then want to upload the output so you click that button here all right, once you've done that, you then need to come over, and I need to save for some reason. Then you'll need to come over to Tools, FPP Connect, and once it discovers your FPP instances, you'll then make sure that this is checked, have your media models and UDP out set to this here, model set to all, UDP out set to all, and then you'll upload that. I'm not gonna upload it now because it's already uploaded. All right, so now that you have your configuration, for the WLED set, as well as your FPP that can identify where that is, you'll then come over to your WLED instance. And this is the one for the uh, floodlight controller, which is this thing right here. All right, so by default, when you first load this up, it's gonna be set to WS281X. You'll want to change that to PWM RGB. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation, RGB, red, blue, green. It will then change to this three GPIOs, and the three is uh, corresponding to each of the relays. So as you see here, the output of GPIO 13 corresponds to red, 
Output of 14 corresponds to green, and output of blue corresponds to 27. Now, if you have, like you see, I have more than three wires connected on my relay board, as you see here, or my ESP32. However, um, I only really need the three colors in addition to the power and ground that go to my eight channel relay, because I'm technically only using three channels on the relay board. One other thing that I set up was to set the default brightness to 255. That means it will, whenever it turns on, it will turn on to the max. And I also set the brightness factor to 150. I'm not sure if this makes a difference or not, but it, that's where it I have mine set at. All right, so now if we come back to the sequencer, and I want to show you this. Uh, so what I use to control the relays is to set the effect to on. And I want it at 100% intensity, start at 100, end at 100, and so forth. You can also use the bars effect as I'm using it, but again, you want to set it up to make sure that it uses the full brightness. If you use the AC lights toolbar, it should be straightforward. All you got to do is drag it down and make sure you're not using the ramp. If you want to use the ramp, you can. Not saying that you can, but um, I did not use the ramp in my particular implementation of sequences. All right, so now that we have all of this set up and be sure that you save whatever changes that you make in WLED and then you can go back and we'll go back. All right, so now in X lights, you can do the output to lights by checking the light bulb here. And what will happen is in WLED, it should say that it's receiving data. Yep, there you go, receiving DDP data from Actually, this is receiving it from the Falcon player. What is happening is my X lights is talking to Falcon player and this may have a message, I guess not. Okay, my X lights is talking to Falcon player and then Falcon player is then sending that data out to the additional controllers. So when I come over here and hit play and I may have to turn this light off so you can see the actual LEDs on the relay board switching on. But as you see right now, two of them are lining up and they are flickering. And this LED board is corresponding to the light colors down here at the bottom of uh, my floodlights or my spotlights representation in the example. So as you see, as it changes color down here, the relays are also changing color as well. And that represents the three different colors in there. Now you can do the same thing with single color lights. Uh, you would need to configure it a little bit different. Uh, from what I found, you can do the PWM white only and it will do the same thing. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop that. Now, one thing that I did notice is with X lights outputting to the lights that the, at least in my particular case, the relays flicker, like the LED indicator on the board flickers. And I'm not sure why that's the case. It does not do the same thing in Falcon Player. So if I come over to Falcon Player, uh, the same sequence, I can't start the sequence midway, but um, we'll just go ahead and hit play. And so as you see, one of the lights is on and it's on solid. Whereas if I were to go into Falcon player, it would kind of have this flicker to it. The pulse width modulation, I think has something to do with that. Now, why is that the case? Not 100% sure, but it does still work the same way uh, as if it was sending data out from X lights. That being said, that will wrap things up for this video. I thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions about setting up your AC lights in WLED, leave those down below. Uh, now, this is just for RGB LEDs. I mean, excuse me, RGB AC lights. However, you can do it for single color lights. Uh, as I previously mentioned, the operation is a little bit different. So let me actually, before we close things out, let me come over here and show you. So in the LED preferences, if you have just a single light, let's say you have a light inside of a snowman or you have an inflatable and you want to be able to control the fan on that inflatable what you would do is instead of rgb here you would click the pwm white and you will get a single output for that that then can be mapped in x lights just like the rgbs were done from what i previously showed you so that you can then use that to control things on and off and go from there all right. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions about anything you saw in the video, feel free to leave those down below. As always, please be sure to subscribe and follow and give me a thumbs up if this has helped you with your Christmas light show. I thank you for watching.